Introduction. Principle comes first, action thereafter. Todd Stocker, speaker and pastor. The best place to start is at the beginning. We don't want you to search for or try to surmise the premise of this book. Our premise. Leading a team at a distance is first and foremost about leadership, and the principles of leadership haven't changed. They are principles. What has changed is that people are working in different places and perhaps at different times. Given those changes, how we apply the timeless principles of leadership in this new world matters a great deal. For the team members working at a distance, for you as their leader, and for the organization that you all serve. This book is about both the principles and the nuances that matter so much. While there are adjustments we need to make to lead in a world with more distance between team members, there is far more that won't change. We plan to show you the principles and nuances and help you recognize the difference. This premise leaves us with a few things to clear up before we begin in earnest. What is leadership? More is being written about this topic than ever before, and still we need to set the context since the words leadership and leading are both in the title of the book. Here is what we believe. Leadership is present when people are choosing to follow someone toward a desired future outcome. So, you are only leading if people are following. There is a lot in those two short statements. Let's unpack it a bit more by sharing some truths and myths about leadership. Leadership is complex. In visiting with leaders from NASA, a.k.a. rocket scientists, Kevin asked which was more complex, rocket science or leadership. The response was swift and simple. Leadership was the clear and decisive winner. The group explained that in the world of building rockets, they can determine a right answer. They know the equations and formulas. They explained that if they put the right numbers into the right formulas at the right time and check their math, they will get the right answer. But as a leader, you are dealing with people, and people are inherently more complex. And the issues, while perhaps not as dramatic as sending a rocket into orbit, are far more dynamic and are seldom black and white. Leadership isn't easy or simple. And, like rocket science, it's something that requires study and practice to become skilled. And when we add the complexity of leading people in different locations, it becomes even more complex. Leadership is an action. Leadership is typically considered a role or a person, i.e., they are the leader. While the dictionary says leadership is a noun, leading, the actions that define leadership, is a verb. Leadership is not really something that we have or possess. It is something that we do. When you think about leadership, think about actions and behaviors. The point of this book is to answer the question, what are the actions and behaviors that will help you help your teams, specifically remotely, get better results? And if leadership is an action, that means it isn't a title or position. You are a leader when people follow you. If they aren't following, you aren't leading. The actions of others aren't guaranteed by a job title, the color of your desk, or the size of your office. A title that proclaims you a leader doesn't make you a leader any more than calling a lion a zebra creates black stripes. Think of it this way. Chances are you have observed or worked for a person with a leadership position who wasn't really leading. Alternatively, you know people who don't have or don't want the position, but people choose to follow them anyway. It is action, not titles, that makes leaders. <laughs>